Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's quick tip video, I wanna cover how do you add a label at the beginning and end of a bar in a Tableau worksheet. So first off, let's start with an example. Uh, let's say that I am just looking at my top 10 customers by sales. Um, so you can see my customer name is here at the beginning of the bar. And then my customer value, or the sales value rather, is there at the end of the bar. So sometimes people do this for stylistic purposes. Sometimes it's to save space in a dashboard. You know, instead of giving up all that extra space for like a, a label or a name, um, you're saving all that access space. And this is going to work best when there isn't too large of a disparity between your largest and smallest values. If you've got like a hundred million dollars and two hundred thousand dollars, the values are going to be so different that that little bar, the label is not going to work out very well. So you can see in this case. You know, the smallest bar is half the size of the largest bar, so this works pretty well. Um, so let's dive into it. So I've got a just a chart here uh, with bars showing my all of my customers um, and their sales amount. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to filter this down to the top 10 so it matches what we were looking at before. So I'm going to copy a customer name. I'm going to put that on the filters card. I'm going to go to the top tab here in the filters card, and I'm going to set this to top 10 by some of sales. Okay, so what I need to do in order for this to work is I'm actually gonna have two copies of sales. So let's go ahead and grab another copy of sales and put that on the column shelf. So now you see copy one, copy two. So I'm going to do different things with these different copies of sales. Um, so you can see in my marks card, I've got the two different copies of sales listed out here. So let's go to the first one. And the first one, I'm gonna put customer name on label. So it defaults by putting that name at the end of the bar. Uh, but I'm going to click on label in the marks card, and then I'm going to use the alignment to set this to a left align. So you can see now my, it doesn't look very good yet, but bear with me. Uh, the customer names are now overlaid on the bars. So let's go ahead and just set the worksheet fit from standard to entire view. And then those labels, once it has enough space, then like the auto coloring of white black can recognize like, oh, it should probably go to white. Don't know why that is. Uh, so now our second copy of sales, um, and this one, we're going to go ahead and drag sales to label in the marks card. So now you see I've got two different bars, uh, one with labels at the end, one with labels at the beginning. So a couple things here. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a dual axis chart. So I'm going to grab my second axis of sales. You see the little green triangle here in the top left corner. I'm going to drag this up, not onto my existing axis, but onto the far side of that existing axis where I get this dotted line. It defaults to circles. Thanks a lot, Tableau. So now let's go to the all section of the marks card and change this to a bar. And now I need to make sure my axes are synchronized because you can see the labels are kind of getting cut um, up near the end of the bar. So I'm going to right click on my top axis and select synchronize axis. So now we've got what we came out to accomplish. We've got the label at the beginning, the label at the end, just a little bit of formatting now. I don't need two copies of the axis so I can right click on that top one and deselect show header. And then secondly, I don't need the customer name showing twice, so I can right click on my customer name header or uh, dimension in the row shelf and then deselect show header. And there you have it. Uh, oh, and I guess actually we don't even need the axis at all because we have the labels at the end of the bars. So let's go ahead and deselect the show header down here as well. And now you can see we've got a top 10 bar chart showing customers by sales with the name at the beginning and the label at the end. So I hope this walkthrough was helpful for you and we'll look forward to sharing another quick tip with you here on the YouTube channel next week. Thanks.